All right, that's gonna do it for out back for right now. Let's go get the front walkway done. The only about 200 square feet in the front walkway, so that figures 160 square feet is two yards, so about two and a half yards up there should do it. Worst nightmare for a concrete guy is running out of concrete when you're stamping. Moving that boom around. He doesn't really want to go over the top of the house now that he's poured concrete. He doesn't want anything dripping on the roof, so he's gonna go out around the garage. All right, here we go. So. We're starting up there because we don't want to finish there and then have to jump out on the driveway. So we're going to start at the driveway, work our way back here so we can finish on this, kind of like this part of the lawn that's not really finished yet. They're going to repave anyway. They got another inch, they got another inch of pavement to do to match up into the garage doors and everything. So, I mean, it's not that big a deal, but we just want to try to keep everything as clean as possible. Another one if you need it. I'll go check up top. All right, they seem all set there. I got that all magged out. Let's go check this one up here. I bet it's, I bet it's ready. At least it's in the shade. Remember what we're looking for for readiness is, you know, I still want to be able to push in quarter, about a quarter inch or so, and you know, have it feel firm. So. Check that right there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Just gotta get it magged out. I don't know, it might be too firm to mag with the funny float, but let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, a little bit firm for this. Can't get enough down pressure on it. To, well, I can, but it just might be more work than just doing it by hand. Okay, dear. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get started up here. He's ready to go. So it's the good thing about having plenty of guys when you're stamping, especially if you're stamping more than one thing. You gotta make sure you got the manpower to do it. All right, we're gonna use Tomahawk concrete sprayer to do our release agent. So let's see how this is gonna go. Can't spray too much out ahead of you because the stuff just evaporates. <laughs> All right, let's get this first one down. I'm gonna go right parallel with the steps, and then we'll see see what happens after that. <sighs> yeah, right there. Remember, whenever you're doing these stamps, all the notches in the letters, they all go the same way. I'll be camping this today because it's going to be a little bit faster with just me over here. want to make sure you get some texture on the edge like that and then when you run the stamp over it you know sometimes the form the form holds the stamp up off the ground a little bit so at least if you roll it first you know you got good texture there along the edge I could do it after too but we typically we like to do it first all right let's pick her up take a look Ah, looks good. Just right. Pick it up. Put it back down. Keep moving, because that concrete ain't getting any softer. That's why we like to drive our pins below grade, so they're not holding up the stamp. I can tap that out. It's like I'm going to have to tap these out. Get 
of the way to the stamp. That's why we couldn't drive it down far enough. He was in there pretty good. Just get this one out, then I'm gonna worry about it for a little while. All right, so I'll have to come back after and roll that and get them joints up to the stairs. I got plenty of time to do that. Right now I just gotta keep moving. good timing is just right so don't want to have to take a guy from them down there because they're in the sun they're kind of busy I'm just gonna keep plugging away here if I need somebody I'll haul basically one stamp at a time just like that gotta roll some more edges Yeah, the roll is going to take out my mag lines right there. See that? Whoop. Take them right out. I hear them banging out back pretty good. They must be, must be pretty firm out there. They got to be well over half done though by now, I would think. We gotta roll a little bit more before I forget. I'm going good. Oh, I got another steak there, I gotta get rid of. I do that hand right there. A couple more steaks. Three three right there. So far, yeah, you okay? Yeah. I got over in the corner. They're underneath the tape. Okay. That corner was hard. Was it really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we need any more stamps. No, no more stamps? Nah. <laughs> Just keep plugging away, me. You want if you want to help me, we'll go a little faster. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, no hurry. I'm okay still. Could uh, 
See where I got it sprayed down to? Yeah. If you want to just finish spraying the end, and we can buggy right down there. Not too bad. Wide enough. to get the other one in before we move it. I think that's good. Yep. You might want to just step on it a little bit. Yeah. It's in time. Going to be in the sun by the time we're done. Right here. <laughs> Actual. Yeah, they're pretty heavy. Sean said he's got some two footers. Oh, yeah, he does. They're like the ones we used on St. Martin, remember that on the island? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Leave that? Yeah, we can cut it with a tool. Yeah. You gotta go get that Groover tool. Especially right up by the stairs, there's a little piece I gotta do. I think you got to roll a little piece up there too. Oh, See it? Right up against it? Yeah, or I put the floppy. I, I forgot to roll it. All right, that's going to do it for the stamp. And now all we got to do is go back with a lot of little touch-up tool, and just we're just going to touch up some of the joints. Make sure they extend all the way to the form. If we have to roll anything, just to texture it a little bit more we'll just put use a little roller and texture it like, kind of like what Luke's doing up against the stairs we'll go check that out but other than that I'm just gonna wash the stamps load them up and get out of here sit right there it's as easy as it is looks good I right, just go down below see how the boys are doing down here it gotta be about done now just waiting for that last piece to with five minutes Looks ago, good. She rushed her back in because it was zero zero. Yep. And uh, with two minutes to go, she tore her ACL. Yep, right there. Lauren's playing. Looks good. So we tried to keep the lines parallel with the house. Not parallel with that, that's nowhere near square with the house. So tomorrow, the deal is we get back here early in the morning, we'll put our saw cuts in, wash it, clean it, and then hopefully wait a day and seal it. We'll get the forms all stripped off tomorrow. You done with that tool, Darren needs it.